So a vertical analysis is simply a relationship of each item on a financial statement to a base amount on that same financial statement. So for example, with the income statement, we're going to go down and each item on that statement we're going to express as a percentage of net sales. On the balance sheet, we will go down each item on the balance sheet and each asset will be expressed as a percentage of total assets and each liability and owner's equity account would be expressed as a percentage of total liabilities and owner's equity. So to do one of these we're going to take an example. So here we have Alpha Graphics Incorporated has requested you perform a vertical analysis on its balance sheet. So here we're given the data, and I'll just take this opportunity to remind you that all of these documents are available on my website at public.me.com slash Brian Ruth, and that's spelled B-R-I-A-N-R-O-U-T-H. The address is also located on my YouTube homepage. So here is a spreadsheet of this same data. And again, we're going to go down through, this is a balance sheet, so we're going to perform a vertical analysis of the balance sheet. So remember that each line item is going to be expressed as a percent of total assets and or total liabilities and stockholders' equity. Please note that these are the same number, so it's kind of interchangeable. So they tell us that total current assets are $42,000 to express that as a percent of total assets we would take 42,000 divide that by 284,000 and we find that total current assets are 14.8 percent of the total assets we would do that with property plant and equipment net so just a side note remember that when you see the word net that means something has been taken out and when we're talking about property, plant, and equipment, that means that that is net of depreciation. So this is less depreciation. So property, plant, and equipment net is 207000 To find out what percent that is of total assets, we would divide 207000 by 284000 And you will get that property, plant, and equipment net is 72.9% of total assets. And then other assets would be 35000 divided by 284000 for 12.3%. Those percentages you just calculated should add up to 100%. And because of rounding error, ours may not, but it should be pretty close. We'll do the same thing with liabilities and owner's equity. So don't get confused. You do not, you do not divide... Total, uh, total current liabilities by total liabilities. You divide liabilities by the 284,000. It's the same base number. So total current liabilities will be 48,000 divided by 284,000, telling us that total current liabilities are 16.9% of total liabilities and stockholders' equity. Long-term debt is 108000 divided by 284000 telling us that long-term debt is 38% of our total liabilities and stockholders' equity. Total liabilities were 156000 This will not be 100% because total liabilities, we're not dividing that by total liabilities. We're dividing it by total liabilities and stockholders' equity of 284000 so total liabilities will be 54.9% of total liabilities and stockholders' equity of 284000 Total stockholders' equity 
of 128,000 divided by 284,000 will be 45.1% of total liabilities in stockholders' equity. And of course, stockholders' equity or total liabilities in stockholders' equity will be 100% of total liabilities in stockholders' equity.